What's up you guys, it's your boy xmanny87 here and I'm bringing you another DC Multiverse review and this time it's on the Walgreens exclusive Bizarro figure and um, I found it today just on the hunt and um, I was happy to find this. Uh, I was trying to look for it earlier but happy that I got it and he comes with a bunch of cool accessories here and I definitely want to cover those. Um, he comes with one, two, three, four, five six and i'm guessing the cape since it's separate i'm uh, i'm gonna include it since it separates uh seven accessories um so yeah he's packed with some goodies and um let's take a look at bizarro here and he is one of my all-time favorite superman villains I, I love bizarro i was really hoping to see him in the dc cinematic universe um but i don't know what's going on with that but anyway Focusing on the figure here, I really, really like the uh, collar. <laughs> Bizarro. Me and Bizarro, number one. I love this. Um, the older DC UC figure, I remember, had the um, the collar, and it had a real chain link. So um, I wish that was applied here. I wish they used that same one, honestly. It wouldn't have bothered me. But, yeah, that's a look at it. Uh, just a plastic chain um, not real chain link, which is a bummer, but hey, uh, you know, it's still cool. Uh, they're really, I guess here the goal was they were looking for that animated Super Friends look, and I feel like that's what this figure is basically based of. Um, as you can see, he has the, uh, reversed S logo here, and the Superman logo reverse, which looks really nice. I'm happy, uh, because this figure is actually packaged backwards. So you only see this, um, which I love this. Nice print of the Superman logo here on the cape. I love this. So he's basically packaged like this. So you can't inspect the paint or anything like that. So uh, my look of the draw, I, um, I, I got one with almost nearly perfect paint apps. So... I'm um, happy about that, and because it's based on the Super Friends, the paint is really smooth. I mean, it is really, really smooth. No shading or anything like that. Again, if it, if they're going for the animated look, uh, goal was achieved here. It is really, really nice. Very smooth, like you would expect if uh, it's based on an animated, uh, you know, cartoon or something like that. And the boots are clean. As you can see there, the boots are really, really clean. Um, had a few like paint splotches, maybe like right here on the thigh. And right here, I just exacto knifed it out. Um, but I'm really, really pleased with the paint job here. Um, again, the cape is separate and it's soft goods and I'm a sucker for soft goods. I love it. Uh, and man, I hate the copyright being sculpted on the butt, but I guess whatever, you know, it's being covered by the cape and, um, I, it's, it, it's a fun figure. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of fun having pics with this and you guys know, since I'm a photographer, like that's, that's my number one, you know, <laughs> like if I'm having fun taking pics, that means I have fun with the figure. So, um, uh, the cape is uh, soft goods, as I mentioned. It has this uh, ring that you just plug in. And, uh, to all my 90s peeps, you guys remember this. Oh, man. I remember the older uh, figures with the soft goods. They always had this ring um, collar on the cape to plug into the figure. So, um, you know, it's giving me a nostalgia feel almost, but not a good look. I would have preferred if. They would have done something, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Just something that it would be glued onto. Like, you know, something like this that's not visible. Obviously not with the ring, but hey. Um, it is what it is. So, uh, let's go over his articulation and then I'll go over the uh, accessories. Actually, you know what? Let's go with the accessories first. Let's let's cover that. So, um if we're going to get his uh Kent Clark form, <laughs> uh we got his blazer jacket right here. Um 
So it's kind of torn looking, I guess uh, we have this open gap area here. Um, it's very, very pliable, so it's easy to put on. Um, we have his tie and we have his uh, glasses. So what I'll do is actually take this off first. I'll put the tie underneath the cape because I tried putting it over the cape and it's just, it's just not a good look. So I guess it's more flushed out this way. And um, putting the jacket on, it's pretty easy. It's not as hard um, as you think it would be because you know, these DC Multiverse are not really known for having the best articulation. So uh, we just put it on like that. Um, I'll kind of like tug the cape down a little bit here just so that um, we get this thing flushed. Uh, trying to make this look smooth as possible, guys, on camera. So just bear with me. And right, uh, let me just play with it like this. Okay. And then the glasses. Let's put that on. And yeah, there we go. And we have Kent Clark. Uh, <laughs> he's supposed to be in disguise, and oh my god, it's a terrible disguise. But man, I love it. I love it. I love this look. It's really cool. It is really, really cool. They didn't have to do this, and I really appreciate when, you know, they can add accessories like this. Just adds to the fun factor. Oh, I really, really like it. Just taking a closer look at the head sculpt here. Uh, take a second to admire this head sculpt. It is beautiful. It is really, really nice. You got the, like, the cracks here. Almost like that dark side type of uh, rocky skin. Um, but still a little humanoid with the flesh, the wrinkles here around the cheeks. Man, it's really, really nice. They did an amazing job. And I believe it's the Four Horsemen that sculpted this. And, you know, for those that hate DC Multiverse, you got to respect a lot of the sculpts on these because they are from the Four Horsemen. And don't forget, the Four Horsemen has delivered us one of the best sculpted Marvel Legends back in the toy biz days, like the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure, like Better Ray Bill, like Green Goblin, you know? Uh... And overall, I was always a fan of the DCUC line because of their work. Um, and I had a pleasure of speaking with uh, the Four Horsemen, uh, uh, James, uh, oh my god, I just call him, uh, his last name escapes me at this time, but he was a really cool dude. Um, but yeah, I freaking love this, man. I will do some comparisons. Uh, he does have alternate hands, so... Um, it comes with a pair of flying hands. And, yep, they do not hinge. Uh, yeah, they do not hinge, which, you know, kind of makes sense. I mean, if you're flying, you're going to go straight like this. You know, no one's going to fly like this. Or like this. Or maybe, you know what, it could hinge. You know what, yeah. If he wants to do, like, don't talk, you know, talk to the hand type of thing. Uh, you know, I guess we can always use articulation no matter what even if it doesn't make sense. Um, so I, I like this look, man. I really like this look. I am gonna cover articulation now, uh, and I really wanna do it without the, the vest, blazer, jacket, whatever, because it's definitely gonna hinder it. So, you know, I wanna show you guys how articulation is going to look without any type of, you know, uh, accessory getting in the way so head moves up head moves down a little bit um, it's got some sort of pivot it moves left and right shoulders move out that far uh, you know his arms rotate around bicep swivel single jointed elbow and wrist swivel no wrist hinge he has an ab crunch that moves that far down that far up He's got a waist swivel, his leg spread about that far, which is awesome. It's a full split, which I love. Um, he kicks that high, legs move that far back, 
thigh swivel, double jointed knees, uh, heel to the bizarre, but bizarre, no, 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 no heel to the bizarre. And he's got the uh, ankles that move up and down, no ankle pivot, which is a bummer. Um, real bummer. Nothing hurts my feelings more than when a company adds double jointed knees, but won't add ankle pivot or double jointed elbows. Because if you saw my Shazam review, man, that double jointed elbows, was, it was so nice, man. Um, so, yeah, I mean, all in all, uh, you know, with the double jointed knees, the, the new hips, this was one of the multiverse's uh, improved new body bucks. Um, you know, way, way, way superior from their uh dcuc days but you know they still need so if i can bring out this super friends style dcuc style this was the traditional dcuc style articulation which uh you know i uh, see the fixed hips here uh the t crotch joint bothered a lot of people i know that no double jointed knees so yeah um big big improvement uh over here, I'll have uh, the DCUC Bizarro, which is one of my favorite DCUC figures. I mean, this sculpt, this sculpt was so beautiful. I mean, look at that face. Ah, oh, it's one of the most beautiful sculpts in the DCUC line. I would have loved this color in the purple. Would have loved if they if they pulled off the cloth cape being tattered like this one. Oh man, that would have been so awesome. That would have been really awesome. Um, so, yeah, guys. I mean... Uh, oh, actually, I have another comparison. Which is a Superman Rebirth figure from the Clayface Wave. So, same body mold. Definitely the same body mold. So, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I like it. Actually... You know what? I actually have a fun comparison. If I have, uh, let me put, the, I have a Clark Kent figure from the DC UC line, and I'll be pulling that out. Let me get the jacket on here real quick. Um, it was back when, before it was DC UC, actually, it was called the, um, DC Superheroes S3 series, I believe. Um, so be bringing them out here That's my Clark Kent and there we go all right guys uh is it worth it well if you're a um if you're a DC UC fan like I am you know and love Superman uh it it definitely is but um I would say probably wait if the prices drop at Walgreens I think the Price is justifiable, whether it's $20 or less. It's a fun figure. Um, but to be honest, guys, with the new DC Multiverse lining up, you know, uh, they're they're phasing out. We know that McFarlane toys are taking over. So uh, if you want, I mean, I don't know if it's worth getting the new Mattel figures, uh, you know, and investing in them if they're just going to be done. I mean, again, if a figure you want, get it. If you're definitely gonna keep it, but if you just wanna save your money and, and wait till uh, the McFarland toys take over, and if they have the Fortnite articulation, oh my God, those figures are gonna be amazing. I could just imagine what they're uh, gonna look like. But all right, guys, this is my review. Leave a like if you like the video. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, please share and subscribe, and I'll have links to Big Bad Toy Store to get your DC Multiverse figure. Links to my Instagram, my blog, and Facebook. All right, guys. See you guys later. Peace, peace.